see how busy Kapaya is here. Do not keep your hopes up, Magoscrass. Remember what happened the last time we tried finding it on a penal world. Oh yes, I remember. They launched you out of a cannon. Hair. You could say that you pierced the heavens. I am not sure who's here you think I am, but if you persist in making stupid jokes, you better believe in these and believe that you lying dead on the ground. The whole turn straight for your fucking cranium. It's better than you standing here, wasting oxygen. Besides, you have to find this STC. Or alternatively, the Omnisic Empire. Well, actually, I cannot see any STC around here, but that giant pillar certainly looks peculiar. By the Omnisire, this... This is ancient technology! Look, there are more of them over there. I have heard of these in legends. Upon the eve of great celebration, mankind footprints these planets, jumping around like idiots as the repeated patterns of sound blasting out of these pillars. They also injected copious amounts of drugs. Sounds like what the Fabricator General does all the time. We must send for more depths. We have a lot of work in front of us. I'd rather not. Their obnoxious chatting just worsens my eternal headache. Well, maybe no discussion about something will ease your splintered mind, my lord. I'm open to talk about anything. I would be too, but let's not forget what happened last time you said that. Try and keep to subjects that won't make me want to destroy the entire galaxy with my transcendent bowel movements. Sure. So... Any ideas? How about you tell me about those Xeno creatures that you mentioned back when we read those revolting questions? Toa, or whatever their name was. Um, can I not say that I did? Are you defying me? Mm, yeah, nah, maybe. It's just. You said not to talk about things that would cause explosive warp farts and. Um, I would like to remind you, young man, that I'm the motherfucking Emperor, and that defying my subject matter of the day will have you be selected as the target for the Seek and Destroy mission during the next Blood Games. Your custodian brothers will have a pleasing high time chasing you around. Oh, oh Emperor. And I'm going to presume the Destroy part is something they particularly enjoy. Please, no. There's something they will be destroying with those throbbing guardian spears, am I right? I thought you were supposed to be charismatic while persuading people to obey you! I am. Because I know you secretly like this. Okay, we are stopping right here! The Dolphin just dropped dead! Time to make a 180 and drastically change the subject! Well, stop whining, and tell me about these Tarzinos then. <sighs> Fair enough, my lord. The Tau are a race of naive, blue-grey, fish-like people with a vagina on their forehead and giant, stupid, toy-looking war gear with no skull ornaments on at all and weaponry that makes pathetic pew-pew sounds when fired. Right. Care to elaborate? Must I? Well, during the 35th millennium, some fucking explorators from the Adeptus Mechanicus were flying around the empty void of the eastern fringes of the galaxy for no reason. Then they found some world filled with primitive fucking Xenos that only used rocks as weapons, which, for the record, is still a lot more aesthetically pleasing than what they've got going on today. These no-nose fish fappers split themselves into four different factions or whatever that represented the only resources they had in the little rock of theirs, which were water, earth, fire, and air. These factions constantly fought like skinny, miscolored orcs with mental issues for no reason. Then at some point, another faction came along out of nowhere which called themselves the Ethereals. They said to the tower, 
Hey, you should stop throwing rocks at each other, you fucking idiots. And the other town said, Oh yeah, I didn't really think of that. So then they became the ethereal slaves for no reason. Started to build all kinds of stupid shit, and then decided to go and try some space concrete, which they've barely done any of. Since they're still sitting way up east, rolling their fucking th- uh, No wait, no, they don't even have thumbs. So, to sum it all up, they're a small Xenos race with scary toy guns that kidnap guard or guardsmen and cut their balls off for no reason. They are completely redundant in any threat record, and I am sick to death of them being brought up all the time, because there's never any fucking reason to- Damn, calm down, son. I was only asking. Shit, you are starting to sound like your father. I'm sorry, my lord. So, humans tend to leave the Imperium to go and join the Xenos Empire, correct? Yes, but it's not only humans. The Tau have got a shitload of other minuscule and important Xeno races to join them as well. Just like a gang of creepy old hobos in a hive city, they lure in others with promises of deeds performed for the greater good, never really specifying what the greater good is, nor why they keep moaning about it as they force you to go deep inside their own puppet domain where you can never hope to escape once inside. I am genuinely sickened when you put it into these contexts. I hope all this repressed anger isn't from some pseudo weird first hand experience. I'd rather not say. Now, my Emperor, could you please order me to send an immediate death warrant onto these foul creatures that we can mobilize all forces we've got and destroy them before they populate more planets with their cringeworthy ways? Um, well, if you put it like that... Hold it right there, Father. Do not let him brainwash you so easily. Or, um, do you still have a brain, actually? Not sure. I'll have to ask someone to check later and see if it's still in there. I hope it is, where else am I going to store all my glorious fourth wall breaking punts? Brainwashing? Really? You're complaining about brainwashing? Ha! <laughs> For looking like a yellow submarine, there seems to be a distinct lack of intelligent life living inside your head. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> of course a Chaos Worshipper is gonna side with the fucking Xenos. I'm taking the side of reason in this debate, and my reason is telling me that you are very biased in this discussion. No, I'm not. I'm just telling the truth. The truth about how the Tower are a race of creepy old vagina-faced hobos that exist for no reason? EXACTLY! Father, do not listen to him. While I do not appreciate the existence of these Xenos myself, but with their distinctive disconnection to the warp and the disrespect they have for arcane knowledge, I can tell you that these creatures could do more good for you than bad. If handled correctly. Is that so? Then tell me, how would they benefit my goals? Maybe we can get the Mechanicus to turn them to servitors and then have them develop describe technology on their foreheads in that way, they can actually be of some fucking use to the galaxy. The Tau have surpassed us in our current state and many technological fields in but the span of 6,000 years. They are an open-minded and fairly naive race, always open to the suggestion of more allies joining their empire. While their leaders are oppressive and tyrannical, they are but small, cuddly teddy bears in comparison to the bureaucratic puppeteers of the Imperium or the iron-handed maniacs of chaos. At least those guys don't cut people's balls off or rip up people's ovaries. Seriously! <sighs> you must be as naive as the Tau if you don't believe that mankind is just as capable of such atrocities. Your Imperium has forced gilding onto more than a few innocent people, I bet, what with all those inquisitorial sterilization camps. As for chaos, well, Slanesh has a weird sense of humor. Alright, fine, you got me on that one. I think that with the use of your powerful charisma, you could manipulate these Signos into working for you, which would more than likely aid in the recovery, or at the very least further the lifespan of this rotting Imperium of yours. Didn't you mention that they had no presence in the warp? How am I supposed to use my charisma when I can bolster it with my psychic strength? No, they do have a presence in the warp, but it is very small. I think an overwhelming presence such as mine or yours would still be able to affect them. My lord, I beg of you, do not listen to this possessed traitor! The Tau fight only for their ideology, enslaved by the Ethereals, and control them through pheromones like they're some kind of horny rodents. They only fight for their greater good. Well, what if I use my powers to become their greater good? B but my lord! No, but... I'd prefer at least one of you custodians to keep your armor on. Uh, what? Never mind, just shut up and do what I say. Seriously, my lord, they're Xenos! 
as long as they are under regulation and they do not interfere with mankind, it is all right. They have whips worthy memory with no skulls or holy symbols on them. As long as they serve the Imperium and only fire upon those who wish to destroy us, it is all right. But they have a socio-economic philosophy that promotes a completely classless living where every individual works for the betterment of it all, but in actuality, it's a present dictatorship based around the ethereal well-being. As long as everyone is treated well and fairly in the conjoined Imperium, where there will be no need for retarded and corrupt political systems, and the Ethereals will be under my direct control. It's all right. But they have turned a whole lot of loyal guardsmen into sterile-based running towelers that only ever draw nude pictures that they use as towel propaganda. As long as I'm not shown any of that eye watering Zenalavi Futanary Slanesh here or garbage, it's all right. What? But they can't even fight in melee! I'm sorry, but what did you just say? The towel? are a cowardly race that only fire upon their enemies so far, never engaging in any form of melee combat. Is this true, Magnus? Well, yes. That is absolutely disgraceful. Oh crap, I was worried about it now. Oh well, well I said it now, so I'm still here. We might as well make the best out of this situation. Uh, now, now father, let's let's not be hasty here. How can they not fight in glorious hand-to-hand face-to-face combat with their adversaries like all true champions of the battlefield do? Basically, they just shoot anyone full of men into rage. And what's more, they're also all physically weak and pathetic. They seriously make drones to all of the warriors half of them have the technology to make giant robot suits, but they only ever use those suits to carry bigger guns and not to fight in close quarters. Seriously, what is the fucking point in making a giant robot controlled by your own limbs if you're not going to use it to punch the shit out of the things? Oh, this was missing, but that, that was us. Use that for greater things. In addition, they use other Xenos that they even save the fight and melee battles for them, making them into meat shields and then they to cast them. This revelation fills you with more disgust and spite than a sister of Silas being thrown into a pile of feeding tendrils. That's what I've been trying to say. They cower upon me, hide behind a big boxy men units, just shooting at me like they're on some kind of firing line. The Tau have no honor, and I have no respect for a race that doesn't even have the fucking decency to fight you in melee combat, which is the most honorable method of combat. How the fuck can they play to me? Air sir, I have a When they won't even pick up a sharpened piece of fucking metal to shank you with. Like, that's, that's not actually honorable at all, that's... That's... Uh, you, you get what the fuck I'm talking about. I cannot willingly associate myself with such dishonorable creatures. If they want to join the Imperium of Man, they better bring some fucking chain katanas or something. My lord, I will personally take my halberd and go to the crusade to the Tower Wells myself, and I will shut it down the throats of every single one of their pathetic fucking hides, drowning them in their own blood for your glory, my lord! Father, are you really sure this reasoning is, um... Sound. Shut your fucking mouth, you tongue of this gallant ketchup! That's one to one so far. Keep it up. I learned from the best. Damn straight. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to my damn room. But what's Imperial Curves in your interview? Hey, can I actually tell you a funny story about the tower, Ratten? Oh, I do love me some good story time. Not too long ago, the Tau were fighting the Tyranids. They feared this enemy and desperately looked for allies since, as we know, the Tau can't fight their own fucking battles. But then they were contacted by the Dark Eldar that offered them help. Since the Tau were so desperate, they accepted the alliance and both factions fought together side by side against the Tyranids. After that, however, the Dark Eldar leader came to the Tau leader and told them that they wanted a prize for his help, which was 77 Tau from each caste, including 7 Ethereals, as a cultural exchange, as they called it. The Tau, in all their naivety, agreed to send the Tau ambassadors on their way. Later, they fought against the second wave of Tyranus, but this time the Dark Elder had some special forces with them that they called Grotesques, which were big, hulking beasts that moaned in suffering as they fought. Later, when the battle was over, the Tau managed to find out that these Grotesques apparently won the Tau ambassadors from the Cultural Exchange. The Tau were kind of upset by this, even if they were the ones who wouldn't be sent their brethren along with the spiky, super sadistic looking drug dealers. In response to this, the Tau take the Dark Elder ships, but as they fired upon them, they 
realised that the ships weren't actually there anymore. Later, when the Tau forces went back to the planet they were defending in the first place, they discovered that the Tau Kelda had super pillaged the entire planet and left it completely barren. All Tau civilians, buildings, and presumably plants, taken to the Dark Eldar realm of Kalara to become subject to incredibly kinky shit, possibly involving precision knives, drugs, and nail clippers. You would think that anyone would assume that a cultural exchange with a species that looked like completely cracked up EDSM enthusiasts would be a bad idea. Then again, maybe if they would have had some damn melee weapons with them, that wouldn't have been a fucking problem. Always makes for an entertaining story. I just remembered something. Where you left your Ouija board. Even better, there is one Tau warrior who rejected the oppressive rule of the Ethereals and actually uses his giant robot armor to wield the devastating warp-powered sword. Everything you just said sounded pretty damn worthy of my attention. Do you mean that, uh... Commander Carfreight, or whatever his name is? Commander Farsight, yes! Not only is he known for wrecking a large number of orcs in close combat, but he formed a breakaway colony from the main tower region known as the Farsight Enclave. Apparently, he didn't appreciate having his troops lobotomized by the Ethereals, so presumably he decided to go and do his own thing. Interesting. Tell me more about this Carfreight character. He sounds fun. Perhaps we could make a cheesy animated hollow vid series about him and his adventures and fill it to the brim with my kind of imperial propaganda. Yes. The begun of a new allegiance plan has only just begun. I was hoping to change subject matter to something that lessens my own sudden internal headache. That something so vile and abominable could happen to the most second of the world in the galaxy. It's absolutely disgusting. The Order of Castoldum has obviously not done their job very well. And then one more reason for me to have traveled here. Hey, don't worry, Fyodor. At least we still have each other. And not only that, but a shitload of Inquisitors from across the galaxy as well. But even now, I still don't have those damn sandpaper cigarettes. Seriously, what the f- We are going to have to do what would be considered by the ignorant to be the most heretical thing anyone has ever done since the horrid days of the Horus Heresy. However, with the God Emperor as my witness, it will instead be the most pure and noble thing anyone has ever done for the Imperium. Now that's the spirit of Fyodor! I mean, look at all the Ordos here! We got Inquisitors of the Order of Malaeus, Hereticus, and Xenos, and their Chamber Militia, of course. And then we got the Order of Aegis, the Order of Barris, the Order of Custodum, as you mentioned, the Order of Astartes, the Order of Sanctorum, the Order of Redactus, the Order of Necros, the Order of Scriptorium, the Order of Voluntarium, the Order of Sicarius, the Order of Vigilus, the Order of Regionatus, the Order of Asper, the Order of Thanatos, the Order of Machinum, the Order of Sympatorium, the Order of Thessalonus, the Order of Scriptus, the Order of Obscurus, the Order of Arduous, the Order of Onus, the Order of Alphus, the Order of Origins of Characters, and even the Order of Kronos. Why the hell isn't there an auto sandpaper cigarette? Why? I really need a sandpaper cigarette! I just... I All of us, men and women of the Emperor's eternal glory, will charge Eternity Gate and the Imperial Palace to find whoever sent this message. We will save the Imperium from the vile and corrupted who have deeply entrenched themselves in the past of most holy spaces. Dear it, creeps is most unexpected. Which just further shows that there's no such thing as innocence. And we are here to bring them their judgment. Hey, Fyodor, you should just preach them to death. Be quiet, Dominic. 